So actually, effectively, what we have is this. Is therefore, we have that An must be equal to A0, okay? which is the closed form solution. It is the closed form solution to this particular type of recurrence. So, for example, if A0 was equal to 2, well, then the nth term is simply equal to A0. It's equal to 2. So what hopefully we can see is that well, let's just look at the sequence that's generated by this particular this particular uh, this particular solution. So the, the the term, the first term at a zero is simply equal to a zero, which is equal to a. So if a was equal to two, so if if a zero was equal to two, well then a zero was equal to a zero, which is equal to two. Okay. What about the next term at position a one? Okay. Uh, well, a one is equal to a zero. Well, a zero is two, so it's equal to two, and so on. Uh, uh, a2 then is equal to a0, which is equal to 2. So you can see what we end up with is we end up with this particular constant, we end up with this particular constant sequence. Uh, if we iterate it out to the nth term, it's just effectively the constant sequence of twos. Yeah. So this is a very, very simple base case, case one that we're considering here, uh, where, where the, the nth term is defined in terms of the previous term. And the base case is simply just a constant. And what we have is that the closed form solution in this particular situation, okay, when we have something that looks like this, when we have a recurrence defined like this, okay, a n is simply equal to the previous term, and we're given a base case a, but the closed form solution is, well, the nth term is simply equal to whatever the base case was. Okay? So that's our first case. What about our second case? So let's have, have a look at our second case. Uh, the second case that we're going to consider is a little bit more complicated. Okay? We're going to actually add in a constant value okay? uh, to the previous term. Okay? So our case two, let's say case, case two, what we're going to consider is a n equals a n minus one plus some b value. And let's keep in mind as well that the base case is going to be a zero is equal to some constant a. So what we want to do is we want to use our method of difference differences to find a closed form solution to this particular to this particular recurrence. So once again, let's have a look at the recurrence and let's have a look at what the differences that look like. So from this recurrence, we end up with that the nth term minus the previous one minus a n minus one must be equal to this constant b. So let's iterate through this. So let's start off with let's say a one minus the previous term, which is a zero, must be equal to b. Let's find the next one. We have a two minus its previous, a one must also be equal to b. We have a three minus its previous, a two must be equal to b. And we can iterate all the way down to the nth, to the nth difference. Let's do the one before the nth difference. Let's say a n minus one minus a n minus two equals b. And then the nth difference, a n minus a n minus one, uh, must also be equal to b. Now, what we can also do here now is like what we did in the previous one is that we can sum up these differences. Okay, so we can add up everything on the left hand side and everything on the right hand side. So when we add these, if you can see there's no other a zero in this particular listing, uh, but there's an a one here and there's a negative one here. So once again, them two are cancel. There's an a two and a negative one. There'll be an a three and there will be a negative a three. There's the negative a n minus one. There will be one that precedes that. There's the a n minus one, and there's its negative counterpart. So when we sum up this this finite sequence of differences, okay, what we're left with on the left hand side is a n minus a zero must be equal to. And what have we got here? Well, we're starting counting from one, two, three, all the way through to n. So what effectively we have here is we have n, n. There's n of those b's. There's there's n, there's n b's in this particular list. So it's going to be b plus b plus b plus all the way down to plus b plus b. Effectively, what we have is that there are there are n of them, n of them. So if there's n b's, well then what we have is that a n minus a zero must be equal to n times b. And what does that tell us? That tells us that a n must be equal to a zero plus n times b. So what we end up with here is we end up with the closed form solution. Okay, the nth term. Okay, in the sequence that's generated by this particular recurrence, the nth term is the fully determined. It's fully determined by the base case 
plus n times the constant. Okay, so this is the closed form solution okay, to this particular to this particular recurrence. Okay? Let's make things a little bit more complicated. Well, actually, let's just maybe note something here. Uh, what we have here is we have a linear homogeneous uh, recurrence of degree one. Okay, degree one because the nth term is defined in terms of just one of the previous terms. It's linear because each one of these terms, yeah, okay, are all raised to the power of one, and that there's no products of terms as well in this particular in this particular listing. They're homogeneous because all of the terms are all to the power to the same power. There's only one of them, which is to to, to the power of one. Whereas over in this particular